This video will introduce you to line-by-line -line PDF coding in Epi Reviewer Web. Many reviews look at qualitative research data to carry out a thematic synthesis. Part of this process may involve line-by-line -line coding of text located within documents and then applying codes to that text to support themes and concepts. Epi Reviewer Web allows line-by-line -line coding directly on your uploaded PDFs. The reviewer is able to highlight relevant areas of text and assign codes to that text. This information can then be presented using different report formats. To begin, select the document that you're going to code in the References tab by clicking on Go. This will take you to the Item Details page. We have already uploaded a PDF for this item, which you can see at the bottom of the page. If you haven't yet uploaded a PDF, simply click on the blue Upload button and select the PDF from your computer. To begin the coding process, click on the green eye icon to open the document. It will be displayed in the PDF tab. To assign a code to selected text, highlight the relevant section of the document. Next, select the appropriate code from your coding tool. The selected code will be displayed at the top of the page in blue. Finally, click on the Highlight button with the A symbol. This action will assign the selected code to the highlighted text. The selected text will now be highlighted in yellow. To see the text that you have just assigned, click on Coding Record. Find the coding tool that the code is located under, in this case Inductive Coding, and click on View. As you can see, the text that I highlighted is quoted in blue under the green code United States. It also lists which page of the PDF it was highlighted on. Please be aware that these page numbers only reflect the numbers of the current document and not the published page numbers within journals. For example, the page number here says page 1, however, this text was actually quoted from page 7 within the PDF. The highlighted text changes when you select different codes, allowing you to have instant visual feedback of what you've coded. Epi Reviewer Web also supports inductive coding by allowing you to create new codes on the fly. Simply select the coding tool where the code should appear and click on the plus icon at the top. Choose a code type and give the code a name. Then click Create. You can now assign text to your new code. To remove highlighted text from a code, click on the yellow text and select the trash icon. You will notice that the code will still be selected for that item. If you wish to remove the code from your item completely, you will need to uncheck it. All text coded using the highlighting feature will be displayed in any reports that you create. An easy way to see what was coded within one coding tool is to create a quick question report. Simply go back to the References tab, select the items you want included in the report, click on the black arrow next to Coding Report and then click on Quick Question Report. Choose the coding tool that you used for inductive coding and click on Get Report. You can then save this report as a HTML file by clicking on the blue Save icon and then open it in Excel. To configure reports so that the code and the text you have coded appear in separate columns automatically, you would need to use Epi Reviewer 4. To learn how to do this, please watch our next video on creating configurable reports. Thanks for watching. Please don't hesitate to contact us should you have any further questions.